Hey guys, it's awfully dark. I apologize, but I work 15 hours a day, so I drive home at night. I drive to work before the sun rises, so I have no light hours in the day to record videos. Which I'm kind of happy about right now because I don't have a beard anymore. I just shave it off for work. Before I start this video, I want to uh, give a shout out to Mr. Ben Lidden. He has helped me out so much in the past, it's stupid. He uh, is the reason I'm able to talk to you right now, as a, fa as a matter of fact. Um, I just want to say thanks, Ben, for everything. You're, uh, you've got me through some tight fucking spots, man. So I'm eternally grateful for that. I want to thank Sherry, of course. I want to thank my two Patreon subscribers. My, or, or patrons, rather. I deeply appreciate y'all helping me with uh, get started with the Patreon deal. Thank you very much for that. I want to give a shout out to Daniel Vega. Mr. Vega, without you, I would have no fans. And anyone who's ever uh, experienced a summer in the South knows that in order to uh, in order to be cool, you have to have a fan. I think he's my only one. So I appreciate you watching my videos, man, and I appreciate you uh, asking for another video. This video is going to be about transgendered people, the trans community. It was never that big of a deal. We always had members of our community that were anything from cross-dressers being presidents to uh, drag queens and transvestites and transgender folks have been around for a long fucking time gender dysphoria, whatever you want to call it. But for some reason right now, in America, they are pushing transgenderism to the extreme. Even though I feel that this is child abuse, they're taking kids who are boys and feel like they're girls or are girls and feel like they're boys and they're putting them on hormone blockers, giving them estrogen and testosterone and completely messing with their minds. People who are transgender have about the, the second highest suicide rate of other mental conditions, the first being schizophrenia, but they're, they're about 40% of their population will die of suicide. I don't know if transitioning is the best option and it's definitely not the best option for a child. That's child abuse. No child should have to... Oh, screen shaking, sorry. This road is really poor for an uh, interstate. Anyways, I feel that it is basically child abuse. I think most of you would probably agree with me. So why is it being pushed so much? Why, why are people like Jordan Peterson getting famous off of just discussing this, this topic? Whether it's pronoun usage or dead naming, which is, you know, referring to someone by their name they had before they transitioned to a different gender. People are getting arrested in Britain for saying on Twitter that a man is a man and a woman is a woman, that a man is not a woman. People are getting arrested for that shit in Britain, where they're also banning the sale of tipped knives because there's so many stabbings because of gang-related stabbings. So this is what happens when you ban guns. Eventually you ban pointy sticks. 
It's stupid. But I think I know why they're pushing this transgender agenda. This transgender. In the Gospel of Thomas, Peter says, and I'm paraphrasing, he's like, what's up with this Mary Magdalene? You know, why are you, uh, why are you teaching her? She shouldn't be here. She's not a man. Only men should receive the teachings. And the Christ is like, well, I will make her a man. And she will be both man and woman. And then she'll be able to receive the teachings that all of you men enjoy. And there are several other passages in, in the other Gnostic Gospels that talk about a man and a woman being brought together. And what I believe is the end of duality, the union of the Adam and Eve, the male and the female, the vaginal and the phallic, putting the round hole with the round peg. So I believe that, I mean, okay, the, baf the baphomet, the goat-headed man with breast and a phallus, with the two kundalini going up the phallus, one hand going towards the heaven, the other one going towards the earth. The Baphomet is not evil. The Baphomet represents the end of duality, the end of positive and negative and the coming together, the merger of masculine and feminine into a unified androgyne whole. This is a deep part of Gnosticism. The ending of duality, the coming together of male and female. This is what Gnosticism is all about. I think our government and other governments who are very esoteric are using those verses that that teaching of the male and female coming together as a a perversion a distortion of truth and placing it in a package that resembles truth but is actually falsehood this is why transgenderism is wrong in my opinion not just wrong but I believe actually sinful personally don't get me wrong these some of these people are probably good people I commit what I consider sins on the regular Like this, for example. But this is why I think transgenderism is wrong. We are spirits in bodies. We are not bodies that have spirits. And we are certainly not bodies that just have a, a lump of gray matter that consciousness springs out of as a side effect of neurons firing. No, we, we are spirits experiencing a human life on planet earth because of that and because of reincarnation you're neither male nor female all of you you're not male or female you've been both if your soul is old enough you've been both so you are a amalgamation of male, female, black, white, everything under the sun. 
because of that, maybe in this lifetime, this chapter in your book of life, your chapter in the Akashic Records for this lifetime, maybe that chapter is about a main character that is male or female or black or white or whatever, gay or straight. <coughs> but the whole book is genderless because you've been multiple genders. You've experienced things from multiple points of view. There's no other way to do it. Your spirit is neither male or female. It is both. It is neither. People who are transgender are only concerned with their flesh. They say things like, I'm a male in a female body or I'm a female in a male's body. That's not true. Your spirit is not male or female. What these people are is too focused on the flesh. And the flesh is the part that you want to eventually get out of the equation and live as a spiritual being experiencing the flesh until there's no more flesh to experience. That's what we call ascension or enlightenment. So these people who are mutilating their bodies and slicing their dicks in half and duct taping it to their their groin area, digging a hole inside of themselves, they're focused on things that are not healthy. They're focused on things of the flesh. And they shouldn't be. It's, it's sinful. Sometimes people, well, I will say in the past, I have been misconstrued as being gay. Or bi, or whatever. It's because I'm pretty in touch with my feminine side. Obviously, I worship the goddess. But this is because I have identified myself as neither male nor female. I think about things from a spiritual point of view, not a fleshly point of view. I do nothing for the sake of the flesh except for eat and sleep. So my advice is to stop thinking about how you feel in your head and and gender that because that, that that's your thoughts spring from your sensory perception and that is neither male nor female holy crap there is a line of cars here a line of cars jeez I was hoping to get a salad oh well yeah, well, that was my little spiel about transgenderism. Stop thinking about yourself as, as flesh. You're not male or female, any of you. You're both male and female. So embrace the thing that you were born as so you can reap the experiences of that gender in this lifetime because you were born into this body for a reason. You were born into this body to experience. You were born into this body to experience what you were born as. And no matter, matter how many surgeries you have, you can't change the fact that your spirit is male and female. You can't change the fact that you have either XX or XY chromosomes. You, you can't. There'll be some point in time where things like CRISPR are used to be able to pick the sex of your baby before you get too far along in the, the pregnancy. You'll be able to choose how tall he or she is and approximately how smart they are. 
And whenever that happens, everything goes out the window. But right now, your spirit decided to be in this body for a reason. So take on those experiences. I am not trying to shame anybody who feels like they are being trapped in a body that they don't identify with. But the, the vast majority of us don't feel comfortable in our own skins. Look at me, it took me two weeks to make a video just because I don't like the fact that I had to shave my beard off. Well, today was a horrible, horrible day at work, guys. I had to do gross, gross things for fucking 12 hours straight. I'm gonna go home, take a shower, eat and go to sleep like I have every other night this week. So it was nice talking to you guys. I miss y'all. I love y'all. And I appreciate you watching. Hopefully this didn't come off like an asshole video, but whatever. I had a bad day. And uh, yeah, have a great night.